Now that we've reached the end of the SolidWorks installation and maintenance course, there are a few things we want to consider looking forward. So first and foremost, always take notes on all of these processes that you've gone through. If you come across any issues, you'll want to take note of that. Keep track of where you believe all of your serial numbers and installations are and on what hardware. When you get into a multi-user environment where you have multiple people in multiple locations, it can become very cumbersome. Use the CAD admin dashboard and other tools to leverage that, but it's always good to just have an Excel sheet or a Word document somewhere that references all of this information so you've got it in one spot that a few different management level people can look at to know what's going on in just a quick glance. Also, you'll always want to keep an eye on the what's new in SolidWorks each year, specifically to the installation section, and make sure that you realize any changes that may come forward. Like, for example, in 2017, they rolled everything, including SolidWorks PDM, into the installation manager, and that's something that you wouldn't realize unless you've gone through the process and saw the difference, and it can affect your planning. So always be sure to keep new on what's the latest, so that's a good time to check out the what's new presentations that are going on in your area through your local reseller or here on the courses that are available online. So thank you for joining us for SolidWorks Installation and Maintenance.